You know, it's hard to beat the real thing, but the absolute finest artistic renditions of nature here on Delmarva are found at the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art, Salisbury University here in Salisbury on Shoemaker Pond. And here to join us today is Shauna Kearsley with the museum. Hi, Shauna. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Shauna, I understand 2018 is a special year for the museum. Oh, this is a very, very exciting year. This year we are celebrating our milestone. It is the 50th anniversary of the Ward Foundation. Wow, 50 years. Yes. Uh, we are standing here in front of our new Legacy Center. One of the problems we had was that we serviced a lot of youth and adults in education, but we just did not have the space. And um, we're very excited and we've been using it. Uh, we're doing weddings, we're doing education classes, we're doing bridal showers and birthday parties and conferences, so it's been very exciting. Okay, celebrating the past and building for the future. Absolutely. Okay, Shona, let's go inside and take a look at some of the exhibits. So we are here at the LeMay Gallery, and a lot of people may not know this, the Ward Museum, we have seven galleries here. The LeMay Gallery is a gallery that changes. The exhibits change um, every four to six months. Uh, the exhibit that we currently have is Through Artist's Eyes, the Eastern Shore Revealed. It's a beautiful exhibit it's featuring local artists um, from Cambridge, Berlin, um, artists in Dorchester County all the way down to Eastville, Virginia. Uh, this is a really special exhibit and of course we also have ducks. You yes. know, it's never going to be an exhibit at the ward without the decoys. Mm -hmm. now, and you have uh, just about every medium you can think of here. I, I see some sculptures and some, uh, some pottery. Yes, we do. And in fact, this is Ernie Satchel. Um, he was a fine art professor at the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. He's an African American. We also have uh, Rachel Alvarez, the naptime artist she's called, and she's doing watercolors. Um, we have uh, Bill Belote, who's doing uh, decoys. We also have Buck Doty. He's a very exciting new artist. And Buck is a metal sculptor and he's from Eastville, Virginia. We caught one of the artists in the exhibit right here. It's Joe Sukanik. Joe? Glad to meet you. Nice to meet yeah. you. Tell us about this piece right here. This piece I call uh, Sunrise at uh, Willis Wharf. I shot this down in a little town on the eastern shore of Virginia on the ocean side, uh, Willis Wharf. And uh, we got there just prior to sunrise, set up and uh, I actually took uh, three photographs shooting directly into the sun. Mm -hmm. I overexposed on one photograph, way underexposed on another photograph, and a normal exposure. So then I combined those three photographs together and got what is known as a high dynamic resolution print. So, so this is like a snapshot, only a lot better. Yes. So all the depths and the colors and whatnot like that are, are uh, just like you were able to stand there and, and uh, look at it from different angles. Shona, I understand there's a big photography event coming up. Uh, yes, there is. August 10th through August 12th, we will be hosting the 8th Annual Art and Nature Photo Festival here at the museum. It's an international competition, so we have uh, photographers from all over the world submitting uh, photographs for the competition. There will be cash prizes. There is a professional division. There is a youth division. We have an amateur division, and a grand champion will be called at the end of the weekend. Uh, Joe, I understand you're part of the uh, on the upcoming uh, Art in Nature Photo Festival, and uh, aside from just the display of the art, uh, what else do you have going on at the festival? For this year at the festival, I will be uh, instructing uh, two different classes. Uh, one is on uh, how to create a composite, uh, which is several different uh, photographs, combine them all into uh, one image. And the other class uh, I will be uh, teaching is uh, photo stacking, specifically used in taking uh, photographs of, of uh, flowers and uh, to give the entire flower a extra sharp focus all the way through. Good deal. Well, thanks a lot, Joe. Nice Welcome. talking with you. It sounds like exciting times, Shauna. Thanks a lot for having us. Oh, thank you very much for visiting. Okay, there's always something new going on at the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art, Salisbury University, and we hope to see you there.